I'm Kylie, today I'm at Sisk Farms in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. I'm ready to learn more about corn production. Joseph, could you tell me a little bit about your farm? I'm a third generation farmer on this farm. My wife and I own the farm now. We raise corn, wheat, soybeans. We raise canola some, and we're in the industrial hemp program with the Kentucky Department of Agriculture. Let's talk about growing corn. How do you plant and harvest the corn? We plant the corn in April, mainly, and we plant it with a machine that plants 16 rows of corn, so it's 40 feet wide as it goes through the field and it picks each individual seed up with a vacuum and drops the seed to a specific place so that all the plants are exactly the right distance apart. And then at the end of the season, we harvest with a combine and we'll harvest around 150 acres a day, so it'll harvest 25 to 30 truckloads, semi-loads a day. How big are the trucks and how much grain can the trucks hold? The trucks will weigh about 80,000 pounds, the whole thing, when it's loaded, and it holds about 1,000 bushels of corn or four and a half to five acres. Where does your corn go after you harvest it? We bring it here to the grain bins that are behind us. We get it dry enough that it would store for a long period of time, and then we keep it here until the place that we deliver pays us to bring it to them, which is typically after Christmas. Did you know there are many different types of corn? Yellowfield corn is used for feeding animals, for making cooking oils, and for ethanol, which is used in cars. Whitefield corn is used to make tortillas, cornflakes, and grits. Sweet corn is the type that we can eat off the cob once it is cooked. And of course, there's popcorn, which bursts open and goes well with butter and salt. Yum! We are now at one of the University of Kentucky's research farms out in the middle of all the cornfields. Dr. Chadley is providing me with hands-on learning about growing corn. So this is corn. When it's at a very young stage, we've just planted this about a month ago or so, so it's not very old. And one of the things you can see is the corn is all grown in rows. That makes it easier for us to harvest. And if you go back 100 years ago, when we planted corn by hand, we still grew it in basically rows at that time. We're gonna ask this little plant right here through the course of this summer to get about seven or eight feet tall. I'm 6'6", I'm six, six, so that'll be like up to there. Can you reach that? No. So it's gonna be a big tall plant when it's all said and done. In this single plant, we're gonna ask it to produce about 450 or 600 kernels of corn. Farmers measure how much corn they have in bushels. A bushel holds the same amount of corn as eight gallons. A bushel of corn weighs 56 pounds and contains 80,000 kernels of corn. That's a lot of corn. Dr. Lee, what are those plants are growing next to the cornfields? So we've got wheat that we're growing on this side. Uh -huh. That wheat will be harvested in about a month, and then we'll plant another crop called soybeans. Okay. Those will get harvested this fall. This corn over here, we'll harvest that this fall, and we'll plant wheat over here. And so over a period of two years, we're growing corn, wheat, and soybeans. And that is what we call a crop rotation because we're rotating different crops throughout the field over time. It improves our soils and it's one that allows us to have some assurance that we will leave these fields in much better shape than when we found them. I'd like to thank Joseph Sis and Dr. Chad Lee for showing me around their farms today. I sure did learn a lot about corn production and I hope you did too. <laughs>